Welcome to I Found This Great Book. My name is Curtis, and this is number two in my series where I'm featuring black mystery authors. And today, I want to introduce you to Eleanor Taylor Bland, who was a pioneering author of police procedural mysteries. And she made her mark on the mystery world with her character, Marty McAllister, that entire series. And she not only made her mark with books, with her books, but Eleanor Taylor Bland also inspired and guided unpublished mystery authors in fulfilling their dreams of becoming published. Her work with new authors and the mystery writing communities inspired the creation of the Eleanor Taylor Bland Crime Fiction Writers of Color Award from the Sisters in Crime organization. And I'll have a link to that in the show notes, so you can go to I Found This Great Book and look on the episode for Miss Bland, and you can get the link. So, Eleanor Taylor Bland's mystery series is based around the life of police detective Marty McAllister. So, in each of her 13 books in the series, Marty McAllister deals with crime in a small Midwestern town, And besides the challenges of finding the person who was responsible for the crime, Marty McAllister manages the obstacles faced by an African-American female police detective in a world where the norm is white males. Marty McAllister and her partner, Detective Matthew Vic Jensenovic, work together to solve the crime, and they also provide an interesting dynamic between cultures. Now, one aspect of Eleanor Taylor Bland's mysteries is that her main characters have a full family life. And in a lot of mysteries, they kind of minimize the family or make it disappear totally so the detective can be free to spend all their time hunting down the criminal. But she doesn't do that. She gives her characters a full family life so you have that. It's a very different take on it, and she does it with the expertise. So, before her uh, death, Eleanor Taylor Bland wrote 13 books. Her first book was Dead Time, published in 1992. Then came Slow Burn, Gone Quiet, Done Wrong, Keep Still, See No Evil, Tell No Tales, Scream in Silence, then Whispers in the Dark. Book number 10 was Windy City Dying. Book 11, Fatal Remains. Book 12, A Cold and Silent Dying. And book 13, A Dark and Deadly Deception. So she has a great catalog. Um, you could spend an entire year reading one book a month and you'd still have another month to read, uh, to get the 13th book done. So that sounds like an interesting mystery reading challenge for you. Definitely want to check out Eleanor, Eleanor Taylor Bland, but also besides the great mysteries she wrote, she also edited a really great anthology. And if you're really interested and you want to get started reading mysteries or you want to find mysteries by black authors, I would definitely recommend you check out the anthology she edited, and that is Shades of Black Crime and Mystery Stories by African American Writers. And this anthology is a great place to start. We did great short stories by so many different black writers, and you'll probably find, oh, I like that one, and I like this one. Great place to stay, start, great place to begin. So again, today we are featuring Eleanor Taylor Bland, a great writer, a supporter of the writing community, and someone who really had a positive effect on so many other people that we probably would never know. Also, one other thing, she originally, with Sisters in Crime, started compiling a list of black writers. She started that and then Frankie Bailey took it on after her 
and kept it going. And now that's a permanent part of the Sisters in Crime site. I'll have a link to that in the show notes. And also, I use that as a jumping off point for my directory of black mystery authors. So it just grows. So her work is the seed that a lot of us are using now to grow and help expose the world to this very diverse group of authors. So Eleanor Taylor Bland, fantastic writer, 13 books in her series. You definitely want to check her out. For everybody, have a great reading day.